Empower me, God. Empower me, God. We worship you. We worship you. Empower me, God. Empower me, God. With your truth, you are true. Sanctify, sanctify. God, you are. God, you are. The most high, the most high. The most high, the most high. Got to learn how to worship God from the heart. From the heart. God cares about the heart. He is wonderful. Everything that we see, he has made it, you know, for a purpose. Everything that we see, uh, it was made for a reason. It was made uh, to glorify him in some way, in some way, to bring some glory, bring some glory. Even with, you know, the if we look at, you know, the Egyptians and Pharaoh, evil men, hard and hard, was to bring glory to God. So everything that we see, everything that, that is made is to bring glory to God in some way. The Bible says if we don't praise, the rocks will shout, the rocks will cry out with praises. We have to be in a place where we consecrate ourselves, where we seek God in a way like our eternity, our eternal life depends on it because it does. We can't miss the mark. If we miss the mark, you don't want to play with, you don't want to play with eternity. Eternity is something that lasts forever. There's no second chances. Look at what happened to, to, um, to Judas, right? The Bible calls him the son of perdition. The Bible even says that he tried to repent. He was sorrowful for what he did, but he was an example of being cut off for betraying the one that came to save, for betraying his master, for betraying his creator. He was a son of perdition. He was cut off because he betrayed the one and only true king, the, the one and only living God. And if we betray the only living God, the true and living God, Jesus Christ, we will be cut off. The Bible said he was sorrowful, but he had no chance for repentance. It was too late. Judgment day comes. If death comes, you know, prior to judgment day and you're not right with God, we're not right with God. We'll be in the same boat of Judas, not having the ability to turn from our sins because it's too late. Jesus is coming back soon. Jesus will return like a thief in a night. We must be ready. We must be prepared. We must be, you know, the bride with oil in our lamps, ready, ready for the ceremony, ready for his return. Jesus told us to be watchful. He told us to pray. He told us to not get caught up in drunkenness and dissipation, things that are futile things that are ineffective, things that have us distracted. He wants us to be the, the servant that's waiting for the master to return to the house because he's coming back quick at, a, at an hour at a time that no one knows except the father. The, 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 it says that this, this, everybody would see him. It, it would be like, you know, the, uh, the, the sky will crack. The sky will crack and, and, and you'll we'll see the, 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 the Son of Man coming on the clouds with glory and his angels coming to judge. The Bible calls that a day of terror. And we got to make sure that we are not caught, you know, like the, the, the person that, that is unexpected of a thief coming. But if, if a thief coming and you're expecting, it, it, it's, 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 it's something that you're prepared for. So we, there's a place where we can grow in confidence. There's a place where we can grow in boldness and be ready for his coming. The way we conduct ourselves, the way that we live, the way that, you know, we submit ourselves to God and resist the devil, the way that we submit to the spirit and resist the flesh gives us the ability to have confidence at his coming. He wants us to make it. God wants us to make it. Make it. Jesus wants us to make it. He said that he, he, he goes to a place, you know, he goes to, 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 to go prepare a place for us. And there's many rooms, there's mansions in his father's house. 
and he would not tell us if that's not so. God is faithful. He's faithful. He's more faithful than anybody that you've ever known to be faithful. He's more faithful than, than the ones that go serve the country and, and they, they sign an eight-year contract to go to war to fight for the freedom of, of, of people that are in the country. That's a faithful contract, but God is more faithful than anybody that you could think of. He's more faithful than a parent, a parent that loves his child, a parent that, you know, uh, that, 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 that loves, you know, to, to be able to take care of the child and faithful to the growth and, and establishment of the, the child to be able to grow up and, and be an adult one day. He's more faithful than that. He's more faithful to, you know, than a, than a, than a leader of, over, over a government, uh, you know, he's, to, to, to be able to serve in, in the government in a way and be faithful to the people. He's more faithful than that. He's more faithful than, in, than anything that we can think of because he's not a man. He's a spirit, and we must, we must worship him in spirit and truth and be faithful to the faithful creator. We have to have faith for salvation. We have to have faith up until salvation. We have to keep the faith. We have to pursue in the faith because he's coming back. He wants us to be ready. He wants us to make it. He wants us to be able to enter in, in, into his kingdom. But he said that, will the son of man find faith when he comes back? Those who endure will be found faithful. Those who endure to the end. We got to make sure we consecrate ourselves. We devote ourselves to spending time with God, to living with God, to, you know, praying, you know, fasting, you know, being spiritually minded, being heavenly minded, conducting ourselves as sojourners or sojourners, have you say, pretty much like just you're, you're, you're a, um, a guest in the world. We're just passing through. This is not, you know, our, this is a temporary home. We, we have homes in heaven, body of Christ, let's grow. We need this. We, we need to grow. We need to grow up in Christ and be established into the perfect man, Jesus Christ. He is the head of the body and we must grow up into him. We must be established in our faith to produce the righteousness of God, the holiness of God, his fruit, so he can be glorified. When we glorify him, it brings, it, it, it brings glory to us in the end game. So we must glorify the Father so we can be with him in glory one day. His promises are true. There's imperishable, you know, uh, an imperishable body that we'll have that's that's that that we have a body that that will be made out of immortality it, it won't it won't die it'll be imperishable we have a promise in heaven that's incorruptible it's not like gold and silver that will perish but we have a promise of of, of, of salvation a promise of life in heaven that's incorruptible that's protected through our faith in god through the power of god it's protected through our faith so how do we get into the kingdom? How do we make it into the kingdom of heaven? We pursue faith. We, per, we pursue God. We seek after him. We seek after his, his kingdom. We seek after his righteousness. We seek after, you know, the things that he calls us to seek. So that way we can produce what he wants us to produce because he doesn't want anybody to, 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 to fall. He doesn't want anybody, you know, to, to go to hell. Hell was originally created for the for the demons and, and, and Satan, Satan and his demons. That's why it was created. But the sons of disobedience, the ones that act like Satan and his demons, that portray God, that that go after, you know, the lust of the world, that go after, you know, the kingdoms of this earth. Just like Satan tempted Jesus in the wilderness with the kingdoms of this earth to be, you know, somebody to be, you know, have the, 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 the pride of life to to have. You know, all the, 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 the lust and things that in the, in, in, inside this earth, he tempted them with everything. He was tempted at every point, but, but never sinned. God has made a way of escape. Peter said that if we have faith, if we add to that faith virtue, if we add to that faith knowledge, if we add to that faith holiness, if we add to that faith brotherly, brotherly kindness, if we add to that faith, you know, love, if we add to the faith and we do these things, then we shall not fall. We shall not stumble. And if we don't do these things, we've been nearsighted. We can't see 
we can't see the things of God because our hearts have been hardened. We, our hearts are, are in a position going after the things of this world, the cares of this life, the riches of this life, the lust of this life. It chokes out the word of God, body of Christ. Let's grow into the holiness, the righteousness that God prepared for us. Let's walk in the works that he, he, he prepared for us beforehand. Something that his, his original plan, his will be manifested on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So hopefully this is an encouraging word that God wants you to make it. God wants you in his, inside his kingdom. But we have work to do. Faith without works is, is dead. Faith without works is dead. The Bible says that if you, if you see a brother in need and you have something to give him and you send him on his way without giving what he needs, that disapproves your faith. That shows that you're, you don't have faith. We have things to do to be able to showcase our faith. And that's why our salvation in heaven is protected through the power of God, through our faith. It's because when we when we when we when we seek God and, and we we showcase faith, God is faithful to his word, which is we'll have eternal life if we believe in him, if we live for him and not ourselves and not this world. Let's and keep the faith. The Bible says that he transferred us, translated, he 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 took us from dark unto light. He, he took us from the power of darkness into the, the kingdom of his son of light to save us from, from, from darkness. He, he translated us to, uh, to, to light. And now, you know, through the blood of Jesus Christ, he's made peace with all things on earth. Mankind, he's made peace with. And through the blood of Jesus Christ, the father can look at us holy, blameless, without a single fault. If indeed we keep the faith, let's be faithful to the faithful creator. God loves you. Jesus loves you. Let's grow in Christ. We love you. You can make it. Submit to the spirit. Walk in the spirit. Submit to God. Resist the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. So subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, you know, check out our, our, our storefront, Let's Grow in Christ, for more material outside of videos. We'll, we'll be, you know, having blogs and uh, Bible studies as well. You can ch check out the Bible studies every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, Charlotte area, we have, you know, gatherings every single weekend. Uh, we hit the streets of evangelizing as well every single weekend. So we want to help you grow. We want to, you know, be the body of Christ that we see in the book of Acts. Let's be doers of the word not just hear us. Let's grow in Christ. Love you.